Does it seem strange for a young woman to get nervous when she's all alone at night? Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. You filthy murdering coward. The Throne of Fire is one of those interchangeable Italian sword and sandal movies. So what's the premise here? It's time for me to have a son. A son who will rule the world, who will sit on the throne of fire. Who are you? Everybody knows me. The devil. Wow, the son of the devil. No, not the devil. Simply his messenger, Belial. Wow, the son of the devil's messenger. You will bear the child of evil. Or at least evil's messenger. Still a pretty big deal. The birth is sensed by a local prophet. A son was born to the devil in this hour. Actually, just his messenger. It's a common mistake. It is written that evil must sit on the throne of fire by a certain hour, or it will be destroyed. Certain hour is vague. The day of the night in the day, Mara. Prophets can never just say half two next Tuesday, can they? The day of the night of the day? What kind of prophecy is that, Mother? Initially, Azira isn't keen to be the mother of evil, but by the time Morak has grown up, she seems to have made her peace with it. Massacre women, babies. I will kill women and children. They say motherhood changes you. But Morak has a problem with the throne of fire. <laughs> If you aren't the rightful heir, it kills you. So he has to marry Princess Valkarin, who has done a runner. Stop! I'm right here, Taro. She knows how to make an entrance. Oh, no! She may be captured, but she has no intention of marrying Morak. I'd prefer to die, Morak. My dear, there are worse things than death. That's pretty much what she was implying. Who will save her? You can help us, please. I don't know. This is Siegfried, the son of the prophet, who has grown up to be a big, strong boy. <coughs> Though he gets noticeably less bulky while doing his asymmetric bars routine. Entering the castle, he fights Morak, but... <coughs> That's going to make this difficult, and raises questions over why Morak was worried about the throne, but I guess I'll buy it. <laughs> Don't let him escape! Limited invulnerability is the best you can expect from the son of the devil's messenger. Kill him, Morak! I have a hunch that while he's been killing prisoners indiscriminately, he won't kill Siegfried. That is too sweet for him. Bet the son of the devil would have killed him. Throw him into the well of madness. That sounds pretty bad, too. Look at me. You will be like me soon. But after defeating an empty suit of armour... <laughs> ...a pretty amenable snake... <laughs> ...and a dirty swan... <laughs> ...the head returns. You've won, warrior. Go, take the axe and look for the light. And by a lucky chance, he finds his dad in the dungeon next door. I can make you invisible and invulnerable, but only, only once. With the caveat... You will be invulnerable to anything except fire. So, with this spectacular advantage... Who opened the door? Siegfried sets out to rescue the princess. I am Siegfried, son of Antar. Sometimes when you're making a film, you realise late in the day that there's a plot hole and you have to hastily overdub a line to cover it. I'm invulnerable. Invulnerable to everything. Only if I'm hit by fire do I lose my invulnerability. But no one knows that. Terms and conditions apply. <laughs> Owing to Siegfried's brilliant plan of let's walk out the front door in broad daylight rather than using the dungeon's large open window... We'll leave that way. And yet they don't. They are recaptured, and I bet Morak will kill him quickly this time. Give him to me, Morak. No. I have something more needlessly elaborate in mind. This way your princess will have less time to decide. 
No need for anyone to stay and monitor this. Let's just go. What will the princess do now? <coughs> she escapes under cover of night. Night? Why didn't we think of that the first time? <coughs> Great stuff. What about Siegfried? Who are you? That doesn't matter. He is saved by a total stranger, which he sees no reason to question. It's done, Morak. Now he'll lead us to Princess Belkarin. And he does. Come closer. Now that Morak has captured Siegfried three times, I'm sure he will just kill him. <coughs> I'm kidding. I never expected that for a minute. The day of the night in the day, and the princess still refuses to marry Morak. Now you will marry me and become my royal queen. Yes, Lord, I shall marry you, and I shall reign at your side. Until he hypnotizes her, which it does seem he could have done at any point. You're a fool of the worst sort. Now. When you take the plot apart, it's just people being captured, escaping, being recaptured, and then escaping again from what has to be the most insecure castle ever constructed. I command you to let me pass. Very well, Princess. But up to a point, I did enjoy this, because I dared to believe that it was a knowing swipe at the whole muscular fantasy hero genre. If you get in my way, I will forget it. But you're a woman. How? Siegfried botches the princess's rescue, and when she very effectively escapes herself, he gets her recaptured. Then, when he's injured, his own father magically gives his life force to Siegfried. I give you back my life. My son, be healed. Admittedly, he does save the princess at the end, she only needs saving because of him, and he wouldn't have succeeded if Morak remembered his own powers. You're invulnerable to swords! You wanted the throne? Then take it! But at the end... I owe this man a great deal. And I wish to reward him. What would you suggest? Not a shred of irony. King! He is our king! Long live the king! Yes, God forbid a woman who freed herself should be in charge. We want the moron who got his own dad killed. You succeeded in amusing me. It's not that this is a missed opportunity, but... Siegfried is so consistently useless, I really did think that this sort of ending was not an option. Well, enjoy the last evening of your life. Thanks for watching. For more sword and sorcery reviews, click here. This film weirdly reminds me of The Princess Bride. What other bad movies remind you of good ones? Let us know in the comments below. My life is in your hands. That will do.